the beginning of the Civil War. Virginia and Vermont were added in the middle of it. That is going to be the only one not represented on the flag. So, now that the flag trivia is over, I'll go ahead and do like this. Now, you may have also noticed that the flag pattern is kind of funny with the stars. That is because the flag pattern was not standardized until 1912. So, in the U.S. flag code, all you really had to do was have the correct number of stars on it, make sure they were white on a blue field in the canton, that's the upper left corner of the flag, and you could put it in basically any shape that you wanted to. You could put it as a smiley face if you wanted to, anything. So, in those early years, you will find all sorts of funny uh, looking flag patterns. Excluding, including this one. This is one that they just happen to have at the time. <coughs> now, a couple rules for y'all that are holding the flag right now. Help me move this. When it goes up, it's a very windy day. It will turn into a sail. It will try to slap your face off. So please, watch your glasses, watch your hats, especially y'all over here. Y'all are holding the bottom of it. It's going to go up and come towards you, okay? So just be careful of that. Second, this is also very important. When you feel the tug, especially y'all on the upper side, especially you, sir, I see you grabbing on it real tight. When you feel me tug and start pulling it up, let go. Because if you don't let go, I will embarrass myself because I'll be standing here yanking on it and it won't go up. All right? And that's happened before and I always have to apologize. All right? So just make sure as soon as you feel it tug and you feel it let go, just let it go. It'll, it'll fly in the wind, I promise. All right? Everybody ready? All right. Raising the flag. Let go, let go, let go, let go. There we go. 